Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> yes, there's special. I love a good special. So we've got a special for you. And it's a very special, special, special. <laughs> it's more special than most, right? Here we go, straight on with it. Become a warrior teacher. Usual stuff, right? Buy me a coffee. Right, UK government, wait for it. Secretly shuts down NHS Pride programme. Now, this is from uh, a sort of backwater mad leftist page called Vice something, Vice News or something, I don't know who they are. It's written by Ben Hunt, who I've met. He's a, oh, he's a stunning man, very nice guy. Uh, right, the NHS Rainbow Banner. <laughs> the NHS Rainbow Badge Scheme has been adopted by hundreds of hospitals and hundreds of thousands of healthcare workers. What my response to that is? Not anymore. <laughs> This has made my month. The LGBTQ, look at the Q, diversity programme run by England's National Health Service is being shut down. Vice News can reveal. <laughs> Through, I imagined. Dear stay die. <laughs> the NHS Rainbow Badge Scheme employs a team of people to assess, look at the Q, inclusion. Well, equity then, communism, right? LGBTQ plus inclusion policies across the health service, as well as providing hundreds of thousands of healthcare staff with pride flag pin badges to wear at work, right? Great, good explanation, that one paragraph there. So what it does is it employs lots of people to push communism by using uh, ridiculous flags, pin badges, and pronoun nonsense that's been paid for by the public. <laughs> next, next paragraph. Civil servants have told Vice News that UK government officials within the Department of Health and Social Care encouraged NHS bosses to pull the funding of the diversity scheme as part of a wider pushback against look up at you inclusion and especially trans inclusion programmes. <laughs> so that's the second paragraph there which actually says civil servants have, have told us that the government has finally woken up to your grift about equity, right, inclusivity and diversity, which has got nothing to do with diversity of thought, and they've shut you down. And they've been particularly hard on men pretending to be women. <laughs> it's just glorious, right? Next paragraph. After approving more funding for the project several months ago, whistleblowers tell Vice News that the NHS England suddenly you turn and ghosted those involved. Ghosted. That's like, you know, when you're setting a date up on Grindr and somebody doesn't respond. So they're talking about this as if it's, an episode, it's a date on Grindr. I've been ghosted. By whom? NHS England. I was expecting a good fisting. <laughs> we see you. <coughs> Services have been wound down and some staff are struggling to work while NHS England refuses to communicate with them about what has changed. Nobody's struggling to work, right? It's that the, the grifters at the heart of the NHS, you know, the equity ballers at the heart of the NHS, who've been pushing inclusion and the diversity and the equity, have suddenly got no job at all. <laughs> If this was a business, they'd be in the they'd be in the manager's office. The manager going, yeah, we've always got challenging times coming ahead, and there's going to be cuts, and unfortunately, you're one of them. But understand, it's not you that will make them redundant. It's the job role. You're perfectly valid. <laughs> it's utterly brilliant. Responding to these claims, a spokesperson for the Department of Health and Social Care said. Taxpayers rightly expect value for money, which is why we expect the NHS and all of the department's arm's length bodies to continue, get it? All of the department's arm length bodies to continuously review whether their diversity, uh, whether <laughs> their diversity and inclusion roles are good value and to always consider ways to improve. What's lovely then is they've then got an advert for Calvin Klein with a bloke in a pair of boxer shorts looking all sexy eating an apple. <laughs> Vice News. Oh, it's changed. Now it's just a man with a big bulge. <laughs> Vice News, that's appropriate, understands that many people working directly on the project have been told it will be ending. Have not been told it will be ending. Those familiar with the plans said hospitals can expect to be briefed on the project closure within the next few weeks. <laughs> the funding cut is especially interesting timing considering it's February, which in the UK is LGBT History Month and this year's theme is medicine, a whistleblower told Vice News. Love it. I just love it. It's like it's meant to be your month where you can pamper to men in dresses and ridiculous people who think they're queers and all the rubbish that came along that undid gay rights and is attacking women and, and seriously harming children on, any, on every level. And you're pissed off because you can't celebrate a month about your nonsense because the NHS has done away with your crap and all the people that are involved in it are going to lose a job. And it's going to have it on their CV. Well, I was involved in the NHS rainbow scheme. Right, next! <laughs> 
I love it. Well, the highly successful program, there was nothing successful about the program. Nothing successful about the program. It was commissioned by the NHS. It was being led by a group of look up into charities, including the, oh, here we go, the LGBT Foundation and Stonewall. <laughs> Stonewall confirmed to Vice News that the scheme funding was cut and the charity stopped being involved as a main partner last September. The LGBT Foundation didn't comment. <laughs> He's hiding in the toilet with the lights off. <laughs> Other charities that were previously involved have confirmed that hundreds and thousands of <laughs> hundreds of thousands of pounds of funding has been secretly bought. From the diversity scheme after the funding was initially approved. They added that NHS Ranger and Bad Services have been wound down to nothing and bosses have not communicated why. Well, I think, you know, just get a big poster doing that. In a, hey, right. Hey, any of you involved in the look up at you? Nonsense. Okay, there's a. Get your, look at your email. It's just. It's just the head of an agency thing going like that. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> just brilliant. Vice News asked NHS England when it will issue an update, as well as what will happen to current staff. Merchandise. Merchandise. This is the NHS. Merchandise. Isn't the thing they're working in Woolworths? Is Woolworths still around? No, not here. W. H. Smiths. Or for young people. I don't know. What would it be for young people? One of these strange online sites. Bubo, or whatever it's called. Boohoo. That's it. <laughs> While we were initially... Top right. While we were initially told that funding had been pulled and this would be communicated publicly soon, an NHS England spokesman declined to answer our questions, instead responding, the NHS Rainbow Badge Programme is an important initiative to address LGBT health inequalities and to support LGBT inclusion for both patients and staff. Our work in this area will continue. That's like, screw off, there'll be the odd pencil <laughs> with LGBT on it. Like, screw off, all you get is a pencil. There's your pencil. Now shut up and do your damn job, which you should have been doing in the first place, instead of pushing your vile political agenda of gay conversion therapy. Right? That's what it's saying. This is not the first time the government has intervened in the NHS rainbow badge scheme. One blip whistleblower added. Last year, the national team tried to change the pin badge to the Progress Pride flag, which is more inclusive for trans people and people of colour. You equity-driven tossers, I'm glad you're gone. It was blocked by the Department of Health, Health and Social Care. They said it was too woke. It is too woke. <laughs> According to another insider, it has not yet been decided what will happen to the rainbow badges that thousands of staff currently wear at work every day. Well, I imagine there's going to be thousands of them that are going to be happy to go, Jesus, thank God I can get rid of this crap now and do my job, right? That, uh, so it says here, the thousands of staff currently wear at work every day or to the rainbow badge award, some hospitals will be given for inclusive policy. The person believes it could be up to each NHS to decide whether they want them gone. Well, of course we want them gone. Why are you giving people awards in a bloody hospital? Do your damn job. These grifters have to go, don't they? There is no way that the NHS Rainbow Badge King can keep going without funding. Hallelujah! 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 Oh, I'm so glad. Uh, if they wanted to continue the work, they would have started it months ago or told staff what's happening. The person who has previously worked alongside the project told Vice News they, along with all other sources quoted in this article, asked to remain anonymous for fear of backlash from the NHS. All right, so now they're playing the victim. Oh, we've been found out for our grift. Oh, my God, we might get some... Yeah, suck it up, buttercup, and understand what it feels like. Over two-thirds of England's NHS trusts have provided their employees with rainbow badges. Why? And... <laughs> Over a third have signed up to be assessed for how well they reduce the barriers. Look up at the queue people face when assessing healthcare. There's no, you don't have any different healthcare needs other than the fact that you might be a bit of a, you know, regular diddler and you need to be on prep or something else. Other than that, no, unless you've mutilated your body, in which case we'll give you all the help you need. Insiders, insiders say the scheme has become increasingly difficult to work on because of hostility from the UK government and right-wing media. Yet nothing to do with the thousands of left-wing women that have been saying this for a long time. Nothing to do with the likes of me, who's not particularly attached to any political idea, shouting from the rooftops, or the work of the Gay Men's Network, or the LGB Alliance, or Sex Matters, or Transgender Trend, or Bayways or Baywater, or Safe Schools Alliance. Nothing to do with them, then. You liar! Oh, he's done this before and he's doing it again, Ben. For God's sake, Ben, tell the truth. One bit whistleblower told Vice News, the Rainbow Badge scheme is the most vanilla scheme ever. Vanilla. They even talk in the language of sex, right? So vanilla is like people that just want to do it, you know, in a standard way. I'm pretty vanilla. I want to do it in a standard way. I prefer not to do it at all. I'd rather watch. But you get my drift, right? And other people are like, bang me on the bottom with a woman's weekly, you know? Or, or, or was it, I'm from the Chandelabras in, in your knickers. They even talk, they talk in the language of sex. 
So vanilla, most vanilla scheme ever. It's just about basic healthcare and recognition of health equalities for little bit to cute people. No, it's not. It's a woke, equity driven, hard left, hard liberal, hard, hard liberal, hard left and neoliberal identitarian cult. And you've been caught out, kids. The game is up. The grift is over. That's how I see it for today. We never know what happened tomorrow. Might all turn around again, might not. Oh, it's like that on this particular roller coaster that we're on. The continuing threats <coughs> to trans health provision. No such thing. Af before. Only th the only place that trans healthcare exists is after we've damaged them. Other than that, it's medical experimentation and it needs to stop. Uh, the continuing threats to trans health provision have now progressed into look up at Q health and that's a very bad sign. Is it really? A very bad sign. Last year, the Sun claimed the NHS had sick priorities for trying to improve the experience of Luca Petitcu staff and patients and compared the scheme to the Lucy Letby murders. Letby, a nurse at the Countess of Chester Hospital, was found guilty of murdering seven babies and attempting to murder six others in August 2023. And at that point, I'll stop it. They are so desperate, so desperate to maintain any slightest bit of, of, of reality, of, of being taken seriously, that they drag in murders in order to make their point. The left, the hard left, are beyond contempt. Beyond contempt in this. Go read it, or don't. That's the best idea, because there's nothing else in there worth reading to, and you've pretty much had it from me. <laughs> so off we go and celebrate the day when the NHS look up into Q, pixies and gnomes. Got a thorough from NHS England. And I'm here for that. See you later.